Mingala Bakumya, I'm Angus Watson with the top stories for DVB. At least 16 have been killed as flash floods swept areas of central and upper Burma over the past few days. Some 12,000 homes have been destroyed in Sagain Division, where nine were killed and 70,000 were affected. State media has reported that Sagain has received its heaviest rainfall in 24 years. Floodwaters have also left areas of Mandalay and Shan regions underwater. The United Nations has proposed rushing relief assistance to victims in worst hit Sagain, where government and military departments have mobilised alongside the Myanmar Red Cross to supply drinking water, food and other necessary materials. A pro-government Karen militia engaged soldiers from a local rebel group in a shootout on Friday in the most recent episode of unrest in Burma's east. The Karen border guard force says it killed one alleged member of the democratic Karen benevolent army after tracing three guerrillas into a corporate village. One villager recounted shots ringing through the tiny hamlet in the most recent bout of violence since tensions flared early this month between the DKBA and the government over control of the Asian highway. A funeral was held in Rangoon on Monday for senior ruling party member and notorious former junta figure Ong Thong. The Union Solidarity and Development Party MP died last week in Singapore, where he was flown following a severe stroke earlier this month. On Monday, his body was cremated, with his ashes displayed to mourners. The ceremony was attended by leading MPs from the ruling party, including Vice Chairman Tae U and his family. <laughs> Rakhine election favourites, the Arakan National Party, will run in all of the state's constituencies in the upcoming general election. The merger parties tipped to contest strongly, having gained supporters from its predecessors, the Arakan National League for Democracy and the Rakhine National Development Party. 240 hopefuls have registered their intent to run, which the AMP will whittle down to 63. The AMP will face competition from fellow Arakan Party, the Rakhine State National United Party, as well as the National League for Democracy and the ruling Union Solidarity and Development Party. You can find more on all of today's stories at dvb.no. Bye for now.